When it comes to equity for women, the engineering and tech industries have a lot of work to do to close the gap. Here are a few statistics. Only 13% of engineers are women. Female engineers earn 10% less than male engineers, and 39% of them view gender bias as a primary reason for not being offered a promotion. Dominance of men in engineering is so prevalent that women have little to no presence on platforms dedicated to uh, discussing the very problem that afflicts them. I'm Jenna Asgarpour. Please join me for the 2021 Women in Engineering Management panel, uh, which is sponsored by the Council of Engineering Management Academic Leaders. I've assembled a fine panel of women engineering management professionals from various sectors and industries who will share their perspectives and insights, experiences, knowledge, and wisdom on what has contributed to this imbalance and what must be done to overcome it. This panel is on Thursday, October 28th from 10 to 11 a.m. Central, and it will identify and discuss challenges that women face in engineering, the impediments to opportunities available to women, and how they impact performance, success, and upward mobility of women into engineering management and leadership positions. I'm very proud to introduce to you our seven distinguished panel members. Stephanie Adams is the Dean of School of Engineering and Computer Science at University of Texas, Dallas. Sylvia Acevedo is Governance Committee Board Member at Qualcomm, and she is the past CEO of Girl Scouts of the USA. Judy Butts is Manager of Warranty and Quality Improvement at the Heister Yale Group. Margaret Bertram is the 2021 ASEM Engineering Manager of the Year awardee. Uh, she is a retired U.S. Army Brigadier General and currently she is the Senior Vice President of Federal Program Strategy and Growth at the at WSP. Sharon Mara is Operations Deputy Director at the Savannah River National Laboratory. Kristen Costello is Senior Manager of Technical Operations at Johnson & Johnson's Consumer Health. And Zainab Noor is Technology Director uh, of Reservoir Recovery and Production Operations at Halliburton Landmark. So don't forget the Women in Engineering Management panel. It's on Thursday, October 28th at 10 a.m. Central. And you must put this on your calendar because I want to see you there. <laughs>